Pulling deep vacuum can be a lengthy process, but Hillmore is here to help. Hillmore has retooled the products you need to pull a vacuum. To start out, you'll need the Hillmore vacuum pumps. Selecting the right CFM pump is critical to pulling an efficient vacuum. The CFM squared will give you the maximum system tonnage the pump should be used on. For example, a 5 CFM vacuum pump is rated for a 25 ton system. Vacuum setup is a critical piece of pulling deep vacuum. The more connections and hose length you have between the system and your pump, the more potential leak points there are and the longer the air has to travel. It is best to pull vacuum directly from the system instead of going through your manifold. The shortest hose practical will cut down on time it takes to pull air from the system to the pump. We recommend a 36 inch length. Standard rubber refrigerant hoses can be permeable when pulling vacuum, which slows the vacuum process. We recommend that you use a Hillmore stainless steel evacuation hose to prevent this. With hoses, the larger the diameter, the more air can be pulled through it. Therefore, it is better to use a hose larger than the standard quarter inch. Hillmore has designed a 36 inch stainless steel evacuation hose that is 3 eighths inch in diameter. One of the end connections is 3 eighths inch to hook up to your vacuum pump, and the other is quarter inch so it can connect directly to the system. This setup will help you get the best flow rate out of your pump. However, anything constricting or blocking airflow is going to slow down your vacuum. To eliminate another obstacle to flow, remove the valve core from the system port using the Hillmore valve core removal tool. Then hook your hose up to the back of the valve core removal tool. Hook a vacuum gauge up to the side port on your valve core removal tool so that you can read the vacuum level as close to the system as possible, giving you a more accurate reading. Once you have the vacuum connection secured, it's time to get started. Make sure the pump is filled with oil in between the min and max on the sight glass before getting started. Open one of the unused inlet fittings before switching the pump to on. Replace the cap on the inlet fitting after a few seconds and open the ball valve on your valve core removal tool. Then open the gas ballast on the side of the pump. The gas ballast removes any excess moisture, which causes oil to become contaminated more quickly. The gas ballast extends the life of your oil and ultimately your pump by allowing it to run smoother. After the pump is audibly running smoothly, close the gas ballast. The pump will be running smoothly after it's pulled vacuum to about 3000 microns. Then pull vacuum down to the desired vacuum reading. After you've reached the desired micron level, blank off the system by moving the ball valve handle on the valve core removal tool to closed. Watch your vacuum gauge to see if it rises, which would indicate a leak. If there are no leaks, evacuation is complete. Crack one of the unused inlet fittings and continue to run the pump for a few seconds. Then turn the pump off. Remove your hose from the pump and replace all brass caps on the inlet fittings to prevent contamination. Use the built-in hoist points for hands-free carry. To maximize the life of your vacuum pump, change the oil after every use. Visit Hillmore.com or the included product instruction manual for more details. It's time to retool and conquer with Hillmore vacuum pumps. Contact Hillmore Technical Services for additional product information at 1-800-642-0010.